People of Edry, I have considered your options and request for the immediate move of the people within the waiting zone, and I agree with you. With the death of my father, I have come to several realizations about our current situation. I think that we should concentrate on one thing, each other. I've opened up the portal to all, until every last person has come through, so that every man, woman, and child can breathe clean air, see the sun rise and set, draw shapes in the midnight stars. We are all from different kingdoms, with different beliefs. We have had different upbringings, but we're all human. We all bleed, we all cry, we all love. So come, experience this world with me. I'll be waiting for you. Your humble servant, the architect. Hello, Grumpy Owls, and welcome back to home. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> Letter from the Architect, uh, that is actually coming up to being the conclusion of our story arc, which I am super, super excited about. Um, basically, at this point in our story, uh, we're going to talk about our story, because our story is, like, the most important thing to this, and uh, at this point in our story... We are allowing everybody to come through. Um, that means that all of the peoples will be here. From Edry, we are talking the entire population of the world. Um, I don't quite know how I'm going to, you know, get that in. I That may just be like a metaphoric thing, almost. Um, I guess kind of way to put it. Um, but, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, and then we are almost done here in Scorn, at least for the sense of, like, what we're doing here with builds and such. Um, well, not for, like, builds, but for story. Um, meaning that, like, we are basically going to be leaving Scorn, and we're going to be starting Ember, which is the next kingdom, uh, which is actually Blaze's kingdom. Um, it is the Fire Kingdom. Now, it's going to be quite a different Fire Kingdom than, like, some of the stuff you guys may be used to. And the concept team is coming up with some really cool things. Um, I actually got a really cool idea from a co-worker of mine, um, of all the random places to have. Um, but it is going to be a very, very, very cool place. And we have just got a lot planned for it, so it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm very very excited. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I am. I've seen so much green that a mesa is going to make me so happy. Um, there is, you know, it, like it, it's it's very green out here, and in Minecraft, uh, especially me, it's just kind of one of those like. Okay, are we done here yet? Like, this is this is way too much green for me. And uh, so we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll get we'll get out of this eventually, um, which will be fine. I'm actually incredibly happy with Scorn. Um, it is still going to be a place that is continually built. Uh, so what it'll be now is that on the Sunday live streams, um, we are still building in Sanctuary, but we will also build in, uh, in places like this. Like, we will come back here and we will do stuff with, uh, Scorn. There is also, like, two more episodes of Scorn to go. So it is not just, uh, not this. I wanted to do at least 
10 episodes per kingdom. And then I will come back uh, later on after all the kingdoms are all done, like all basically 70 episodes. Uh, we'll come back and we'll do like an occasional, you know, okay, well, this is a Scorn episode and this is an Ember episode and this is an Evergreen episode and this is a Harvest episode. Like, just jump back and forth. Um, so, yeah, this is not the end of Scorn. Uh, but it is definitely coming to a point where we are going to start building somewhere else, mainly for story. Um, we, we've gone through the story with this in the way that the main point of the beginning is coming to a completion. Um... The way I wanted to set this up is that we had that world, you know, the other world that everybody's coming from, and I'm building a replica of that world, essentially. I'm building them a new home. Um, ooh, that looks nice. Uh, so that is coming to an end. That is where we are at with that situation. Um, we are getting to a point where everybody's going to be here, and now we move on to other things um the big thing now is that you guys got to taste a little bit of the architect's childhood and ember is where the architect's childhood took place and so i would really like to get into his childhood more um i think it would be really cool to do i not so much maybe doing like voiceovers of him as a child, but definitely get into the people that were part of his childhood. Um, I do want to introduce Fira, who is essentially the... Like, Blaze is his best guy friend, but you know like in all of these stories there was the best guy friend and then there was like the the other friend, the sister, or whatever, that, like, you know, really knew his heart, and, um, or knew, you know, the character's heart, and that's what Fira is to the, um, architect. The architect's, Fira knows him, like, in the most, like, personal way, and, uh, I want that to come out, and I am still searching for a Fira. Um, it is a very big character as far as it is concerned with the, um, with the architect. It is Blaze's twin sister, um, and she, as far as the character is concerned, she is in love with the architect. The architect will have nothing to do with her. Um, it is a standard practice of the architects to never get involved in... Uh, never get involved in, like, relationships. Uh, it's just something that's never, they've never done. It's something that, like, they just don't do. Um, so that is her dilemma. Um, one of her dilemmas. Um, so it's got to be somebody who's, you know, able to portray that out well enough without it seeming hokey. Um, because I want to stay away from that being a hokey thing and make it a very character build thing. Um, especially, she does have a larger character story. And uh, her character story is actually going to be very important in the Kingdom of Ember. And uh, she's kind of a like badass warrior, I'm not going to lie. But she's also, she doesn't take crap from people. Um, and she has a soft spot for, you know, the downtrodden. And, um, so she's got a lot going for her. And I don't want her to become a, tr like, a stereotype. I don't want her to become, like, oh, that girl who loves the guy that she can't be with. Like, I, I want her to eventually give up on that. Like, I want her to basically say, well, this is never going to happen, I'm not going to waste my time, and to move on. And that is kind of my deal with Fira. So, I need somebody who can play this really well. Um, so, I've been very, very careful about who I'm choosing to do it. I, uh, I'm still looking, honestly, um, but I need to get it done. Um, so I'm kind of running into that problem as well. Um, oh, Scorn in the Darkest. Oh, cool. Um, 
So yeah, I'm kind of running into that problem too. So there is a bit of an issue. Uh, I gotta open this. I never did. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Boom. And uh, weather clear and time set day. Day. Thank you. But um, yeah, so that's what's happening. Uh, I really wanted to talk to you guys about story and character and stuff like that this time uh, for this episode. Uh, there is stuff being built, um, as you can see, it's, but it's, it's the normal stuff. This is, this is what we're doing. I told you guys we were going to build a wall. Um, so we're building a wall. Um, that's kind of just what's happening. Uh, the story is a big part for me. The story is a big part for you guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the story today. And especially with the architect kind of first time you guys really seeing him make a like statement to the world um you have to remember he is a worldwide important character um he is a direct connection to the gods uh so people he's one of the most revered people like in all of creation so um so it's very very you don't you don't see him doing that a lot though you don't see the the kind of, I guess, politician side of him as opposed to, like, his personal letters to his friends and his family and, you know, his father. And so you guys actually got to see that, which is really cool. Um, I was really, really excited to be able to do that. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That looks so cool. Uh, this almost reminds me of, like, some sort of, like... You know, like, when the torches, like, give off, like, that little bit of... Uh, here, let me show you. Um, when the fire gives off a little bit of the stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can't do that. There we go. Yeah, when the fire gives off that little bit of effect right there, that's what that reminds me of. And I love that. Um, especially the, like, the fire blocks. Like, it just reminds me of that. And I love it. It's like this dark red, black fire creepiness rising up. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So cool. I like it. And, uh... But yeah, so you guys got to see the architect be the architect, which is really cool. And we are about to move into uh, about to move into Ember. Although we've got two episodes here, I want to try to do some building this week. Um, by this week, I mean last week for you guys. Uh, my internet uh, bill was due, and uh, we just did not have the money at the time. We just put four kids back into school, so we just had to prioritize. And my internet is not a priority, so. Um, so yeah, by the time you guys see this, it will be like, it's like the 20, like, 7th or something for me, um, or 25th or something like that. So by the time you guys see this, it'll be like next week, um, but I'm recording it way back, and that's okay. Uh, by the time you guys get back, I should be able to get this marketplace little section done, and I think, uh, I had, Tim had told me that he really liked this idea of doing an entrance right here. Um, so I think I'm going to pull this over. We're going to do a little bridge here, and I think we're going to pull in the entrance right here. I think Tim's absolutely right with that. Uh, T4E, by the way, check him out down below in the description. He's part of my build crew. Um, he helps me come up with ideas and advice and stuff, so uh, go check him out. I need to finish these walls as well, going around that way with the this stuff. I think I'm just going to do that on one side. I don't think I'm going to do it on the other, because um, it's almost kind of a way to keep people out and I don't want to do keeping people in um I don't know though we'll see and uh yeah and then I gotta start on the big old circular marketplace stuff over there and finish up like some more housing here and there there's still a lot to do here uh there's actually a whole thing about the guild of whispers that is not even been mentioned through the scorn stuff um and that's my fault because it should have like I'm going to do it in stories from home, I think, uh, because what initially happened was we were in Sanctuary, and then we were still doing the story for everybody coming through the portal, and uh, we started building Scorn before that story completed, and that was kind of my fault with that. Um, I wanted to just get in and start building a kingdom, um, so there's like a whole thing about the Guild of Whispers, uh, which is actually like supposed to be the area down here below the inn um there's a ravine down here all this stuff in here is actually supposed to be this like underground guild of information dealers and stuff like that and there was supposed to be a little bit more um voiceover work 
and I am going to do that. I think I'm going to do that in the Stories from Home continuing on. Um, so maybe what Stories from Home will turn into is less of a history lesson and more of the voices of previous kingdoms um, and like little pieces of the kingdom's history and things like that. So, okay, guys, uh, it is now raining in Scorn, which is my favorite thing in the world. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Goodness! I love it in the rain here. You can't get better than the rain in Scorn. It just doesn't exist. It is so pretty, so pretty. And uh, guys, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna head out. Uh, thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, if you guys know anybody who's be interested in doing voiceovers or is just interested in stories and things like that, let let them know about this series. Um, it's a series that's very hard to define. Uh, to people, but everybody's enjoyed, and I really want this to be shared with people, um, the story. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it, and I think it's fun, and I think you guys would... I, I, I like it. I like it a lot, and I think you guys love it too, and share it with your friends, and make everything amazing. And I'll keep trying to do what I can. And, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you later. All right? Bye-bye.